the eagles gathering together. Dear one of them, What were we doing last Sunday? We were gathered in our tape homes, all praying in his name. We were baptized with the Holy Ghost, when the power of that voice came. What he did for them that day, he did for us the same. We're so glad we can say, we're one of them. What a rest! What a peace! What an assurance his bride has as we hear him speak to us and tell us we are his perfect bride and are in his perfect will. There is no other way, there is no other voice, no other message that can perfect his bride except his voice speaking through his vindicated messenger of the hour. The unbelievers, that don't have a full revelation, say, you are placing too much on the man, give the glory to Jesus. We do, for we believe it isn't a man we're listening to, nor are we giving the glory to that man, but it is Jesus Christ speaking through his vindicated messenger, and we are giving him all the glory. He has revealed to us it is him once again, speaking to his bride through human lips as he promised he would. That's what we make our failures, tonight. We try to place all the glory, and Christ, way back in another age. The Bible said, He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is just as much here in this building, tonight, as he ever walked in Galilee or Jerusalem. When a man preaches and says, You don't have to believe every word on them tapes, the prophet made mistakes, he said so himself, and we can show them to you. There is a difference when it was God speaking through him and his own thought or ideas. When a man stands and says that he's a minister, a pastor of a church of somewhere, and he does not believe that Jesus Christ is the same in every detail, except the physical body, same yesterday, today, and forever, that's the seed of discrepancy. The same in every detail. Then some man is going to tell you there are mistakes in what he said, but by the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit through him, he will tell you what is and isn't the word? Not to me he I s n t. The angel of the Lord told his prophet, Get the people to believe you. And we do, every word. He said, In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't you add one thing. Don't take, put your own ideas in it. You just say what is said on those tapes. You just do exactly what the Lord God has commanded to do. Don't add to it. When God speaks the word, he doesn't need any man or any woman, or no one else, to say what that means. God means just what he says he means. But they don't want to lean to what the word says, they want to lean to their own understanding. They want to lean upon what some minister says instead of upon what God said. The scripture tells us that they were veiled. The prophet told us that the scriptures repeat themselves. As it was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, so is it today. As it was in the days when Jesus was here on earth, so is it today. As it was in the days when this prophet was here, so is it today. When Brother Branham had been in Tucson, Arizona, for three years, the ministers never invited him once to come preach behind their pulpit. Why? He said because they got together and said, if any man had me in their pulpit, they would excommunicate that preacher. Today, when you proudly say we are a tape church, we invite his prophet to speak behind our pulpit every service, that pastor, and that church, are excommunicated. But when my voice is silenced in death, these tapes will still be playing, and you'll recognize that what I've said has come to pass. This is what we believe about the voice that is on the tapes. My sheep know my voice. My voice has been proven to them, to be true. It's been vindicated that it is my voice. Now, now notice, they are not subject to following any other voice. They won't. My sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. So let us come together this Sunday at 1 p.m. Jeffersonville time to hear that voice tell us, Lean not unto thy own understanding. Brother Joseph Branham
Shalom. If this video was a blessing for your life, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. God keep you dear brother and sister. Sentir la faz excelsa de tu amor